Simmer the fuck it down, bitch. Come on, reload. Simmer the fuck it down. Oh! Oh! He's going in! He's going in! Oh! Oh! Hype. Hype. So far, yes, I've got him. Oh, I got the ass! Oh, I got the ass! Oh, oh, yes! 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 Get in there! Oh, oh there it is! God. Oh, there it is! Get fucked! Get! Get! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! What's going on ladies and gents, Digimus here bringing you guys today some more Rainbow Six Siege and today I am happy to bring the Operator review and potentially the first YouTube video of Ella Ace because that shit was hype as you saw in the opening clip there, excuse us. Um, so just a quick disclosure before we get into the review of Ella, uh, please note that there will be a lot of mixed terrorist hunt and multiplayer footage of her in here just because it was stupidly hard to just select her at all. And when we did, either there would be just, you know, either you did bad with her in the rarities, or I did really well where I got that ace and did actually half decent with her. So let's get into the review of Ella, and if you guys do want to see more of the new Operator's um, content, make sure you guys follow us on Mixer. The link is in the description, so you can watch them live over while we stream, and have some good old funny can ask questions and things along those lines. So first, Ella, the Polish Defensive Operator. She's a max speed one armor operator, and she is fucking delicious, okay? Overall, her gadget is a very, um, she's not, it, the gadget's not as useful as her, to say the least. Her gadget is essentially a key to your death. Once you get hit by that gadget and she notices it, you have better said all your prayers, you better have tucked your children into bed because Ella is coming for you and you're gonna die. You're gonna die and it's gonna be awful. I'm telling you that now. Her Scorpion Evo comes with 50 rounds in the magazine and a stupidly high rate of fire. Slap a compensator on that and just let it fly and I promise you, you are racking up absolute murder. On top of that, her shotgun can be spammed as well as adding a, uh, an extended barrel which increases the overall range of the damage of the shotgun which makes it a very powerful contender and her pistol is no laughing matter as you saw I murdered the jackal in the beginning with that ace um, I cleaned him up with the pistol nice and simple overall really strong calm collected operator but once you get that cue once you hear that mind go off mmm murder that's when it begins now not to say that she's useless without her gadget but if she's paying attention and she's near her gadgets when they go off you you better hope that you're you're a shield operator because you're gonna have a bad time. So next up uh, for her uh, gadgets and how they work together with like barbed wire and impact grenades. Now I know in a lot of the footage I was using barbed wire, but I kind of thought that it'd be smarter for me to use impact grenades later on because I was playing on chalet and I died because I didn't have an open flank route as someone got uh, downed as I shot them and they got hit by my mine and all that good stuff. So I did, what I should have done is opened up a path with the impact nade flanked behind with the shotgun or SMG and just, just absolute rain death. I know I'm being a little childish in this video, but Ella is an actual competitive operator that is completely disgusting. Um, if used in the right mindset and has that proper aggression. You use her as a character to set up an entry point as people come into rush, you just keep lighting them up. She is a counter rusher at best. Um, you know, you got an Ash Rush, they breach the window, bam, Ash gets hit by that mine, Ella swoops in with that 50 round scorpion, just pop, she's gone. You know, um, it just really makes it easier to hold choke points with Ella. She's a very strong operator and the meta is changing so hard. I've heard so many people and watched so many people complain as we were live streaming that the meta is completely ruined, this defense is too strong. The thing is though, it's really hard to balance even though for defense and offense. And I feel that Ella um, is just pretty much a stronger Jaeger or more of an opposite Jaeger. And that means instead of having a passive um, gadget, it's very more of a you know reactionary, this gadget went off, snap on the target kind of thing. Like I said, stop the rush. That's kind of the thing. 
So Ella can just absolutely murder people, as I stated. But the real power is, is when you get that full defensive team, you get that barbed wire set up, you get Legion's toxic spikes going, it's brutal. Now I'll have videos on the other operators coming out in the following days, so make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Hope you guys will subscribe and stick around, but we're still talking about Ella. So overall, Ella's flank potential and just because of her speed and the power of her Scorpion makes her just an absolute top contender, uh, contender just for everything. Especially with the new updates for uh, there's no more red tint on your screen. Ella runs outside. She's got a clear picture of you. You're dead. You know, I got flanked by Ella earlier because she's so fast she was able to flank me on house run, jumping out the back stairs and all the way down to uh, entry of gym. She popped up as soon as she was in the doorway that she was attacked and I, I couldn't defend myself. I was actually dead. There was nothing I could do. I was dead. So, overall, she's just a very capitalistic, or she, not very cap, but she's just, the potential to capitalize on her, on her gadget is where her strong suit stays. Now, who does she pair best with? Well, of course, there's always the super version of her, Echo. Echo keeps a Joni her, he stuns them, bam! That Scorpion knocks people down, although that kind of works for Cav and other operators along those as well. The objective still applies. She actually pairs very well with Legion. Legion can go, hey, let's put our Toxic Spike and Mines together. You really start messing with the offensive operator, he's going to have a really bad day. And then you swoop in for that kill, once again, absolutely shredded, just right through everyone. But other than that, Ella essentially just synergizes pretty well with a lot of uh, defense operators because her gadget can be a trigger to other people to spring on the attack. Cav can come in, hey, my mind just went up there, jump on him. Cav gets the interrogation. Then you have someone with a powerful ass scorpion running around with the interrogation thing. It's a bad time. Now, is Ella overpowered? Personally, I can't say like definitively yes or no because the meta's new. Whenever something new comes out and Ubisoft wants the meta to change, it's going to happen. Now, of course, there's been small meta changes with, like, say, Skull Rain, things like that. You know, Capito, Cavera. You know, Cavera, sure, you've got to be a little bit more careful, but there wasn't really a giant meta change. Valkyrie was a bigger meta change. Blackbeard was a huge meta change because now you can't headshot someone. Buck and Frost, not the end-all, be-all of meta changes, and Hibana and Echo were actually quite large when you think about it because Echo was a very powerful force on Bomb. But overall, when you look at Ella, she's just a powerful operator at the end of the day. I feel like she's not changing the meta all out. I feel like if you're smart enough, um, you can detect those Grismont Mines that leave that concussion on you. Now, of course, there are positions where the Grismont Mine is practically untouchable, which is really annoying. Um, essentially, you can put it above a doorway so far up that it won't like you won't be able to shoot it unless you run in range. Which does suck. Now the effect doesn't last as long as Echoes, and if you move it will go away. But it still messes you up pretty hard when an operator with a scorpion comes up and runs up on you. Now maybe that Ubisoft could lower the radius of what it when it detonates. So you have to put it, say, in a spot where the attackers can actually shoot it potentially. But of course you do have Twitch, Thatcher, and IQ to notify you when things are in the area. Of course you also have your drone. So it's not it's that hard to find the mines, but if you really don't want to fuck with it... Obviously, you just use a drone and say, never mind, I'm going the other way. Which, of course, cuts off a whole section of the map, which is very powerful in the long sense. So, personally, the best strategy I like to use with Ella is throw down two of her Grismont mines in power play positions, and then keep two on myself. Now, I know she can throw one when she's down, but personally, it doesn't really work all that well anyways. Uh, unless you really have a teammate close by. I personally have two just in case that someone decides to get a little cheeky. I can throw one, create some distance. Oh shit, Grismont Mine, gotta shoot it. Gives me time to reload, gives me time to replace, uh, you know, maybe impact nade, change up my position, change up the gameplay on him, and essentially take control of the situation as fast as possible. Because people are currently scared of Ella, and once you capitalize on the fact of that, oh shit, they see a Grismont Mine just got thrown on them, they're going to shoot it, you have the chance to reload, get out of there, do whatever you do is necessary, or need to do is necessary, just to, you know, move on. Now, there's also that, now there's the full defensive set, where you just set up all your Grismont mines in the area, and you guys all hunker down, that works too, but personally, that's what I prefer to do, impact nade, scary people with the Grismont mine, pop up out of nowhere, boom, it's your boy, skinny penis, and you just murder everyone in the area, personally, Ella is just a an operator that very few can go one-on-one -on -one with with her gun, but eh, 
Yeah, like she, her gun is what makes her essentially. If she didn't have the scorpion with fifty rounds and a stupid high RPM and a decent damage, you're she probably be probably some bottom tier trash in all honesty. Um, I feel the thing with Ella is that it was an all or nothing when making her, and I feel like they went for the all because defense was so weak. Now, I don't feel that defense is too strong now, although the new map itself, which I'll talk about in a separate video, um, does very strongly point towards the defensive team because of all the traps that they can be laid down and how big it is. Um, that can dictate towards it, but overall, Ella as a whole is not a broken operator. She was just designed to be, like, once you're in, like, if you're not aware of her mind and you're going to get trapped by her and you're going to get stunned, she's going to capitalize and kill you. Now, of course, she is really fast, which does also benefit to that, but that means she can't absorb that much damage. So it's pretty much like she's really risking it if she's not using that security of the mine and say she's against the better player or maybe a Blackbeard or something, you know, and they're playing properly then she might be able, then she'd probably lose in that situation. But other than that, once the mine goes off and she's competent enough to capitalize on it, it's over. There is no hope for the opposed, for the person that got hit by that mine, unless they were like fast enough to get out of there or the Ella's really bad. But that's pretty much it for Ella. Just a very strong operator that needs to capitalize on certain situations. Uh, but overall, she is a very good addition to Rainbow Six Siege. And once the meta gets all ironed out, people will understand that she's not that broken. It's just that the way you can place her mines does make her very powerful at the end of the day. So without further ado, guys, if you guys did learn something new and are excited to watch the Legion, Ying, and full review of the new theme park map, make sure you guys do like, subscribe. We'll be back. We'll also be streaming them over on Mixer. So once again, do follow us down there. It's some hype-ass shit, as you can see from all the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching. I'm the Digibus, and I'll see you 60 Beasts in the next episode. Bye-bye.